So here we are again making the food of Minecraft. Today I'm going to be making halloumi. So in the pot I've got two litres of full cream milk. I'm making halloumi because this milk was about to go off. You can smell it was turning, but it wasn't off yet. So, but I can't drink two liters of milk in less than a day. So gonna make some cheese instead. All right, on a low heat, we heat that to 45 degrees. And now we wait. So the more astute of you may have noticed that halloumi is not in Minecraft. Halloumi, I've decided, or cheese in general, as long as it's not particularly extravagant or difficult of a project, cheese is actually quite doable within the realm of Minecraft. This recipe uses whole milk, rennet, salt, and a bit of calcium chloride, which is just to bolster the calcium content of your milk to make the enzyme work more efficiently. We don't have to worry about that necessarily, but because we didn't milk these cows ourselves, we don't know how good the calcium content is and I didn't test it, but we just want to bolster that. So it's not strictly necessary. I'm still going to use it anyway, because I can and it'll make the cheese actually work properly. But if you were in Minecraft, you could definitely do this without the calcium chloride. And then it's just a matter of pressing the whey out of the cheese or out of the curds and then boiling the final product to make it into halloumi, which is all very doable. All right, milk's at 45 degrees. So I'll turn off the heat, add in the calcium chloride, add enough rennet for two liters of milk. And now, we leave that to set for 45 minutes. It cooled down a little bit, but it's still, I just gave it a quick reheat with like on a burner, just to bring it back up to temperature again. And now it's time to cut the curds as long as they are in kind of a firm set. I did give it a slice before. Still kind of follows the knife. I'm just going to give it another mm, 10 minutes to firm up a bit. I've started sterilizing a cheesecloth because it is time to cut the curds. Gently stir for a further 10 minutes until the curds are significantly smaller and slightly springy. You might just check the temperature as well. It has cooled down a little bit. Almost at 40, but... Alright, you stay there. <laughs> They're very delicate curds. Probably on account that it cooled down. It is quite cool. It is quite cool in here. So, in hindsight, it's not really surprising that it cooled down. Hopefully it'll be okay. The lowest possible heat from a distance, you might just be able to boost it back up to 45 back up at 45 so now it's got to stir for 10 minutes now that it's at 45 degrees the curds are a lot more um, sturdy they're still really soft but now at least my spoon doesn't completely like just tear straight through them even stirring as gently as I am just like pushing them around basically and take this out and do this for 10 minutes and 
man it'd be so easy to maintain like a 45 degree temperature i could just pop into the nether and just like leave my milk there yeah i imagine it would be easier to make this if i could just like go somewhere where it's like yeah this will stay nice and hot amazing perfect that's exactly what i need all right 10 minutes past now we have to scoop the curds into a cheesecloth lined colander to drain ow hot water is hot you know if i was smart i would have done this before be so ow ow hot haha <laughs> cheesecloth lined colander no burnt fingers quite know how you'd make a colander in Minecraft. You know, I'm just gonna choose to ignore that. <laughs> that may not have been the, <laughs> the best idea. Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna pull that out of un underneath. It's draining away. And then next step is to press this using a, um, a bowl full of water. I don't have a bowl that is the same shape as the colander that holds water though. I do have a bowl that is the same but has a giant crack through it. So I'm gonna use that with some cans of food in it. <laughs> um, so this is gonna last, it's gonna press for about half an hour, but we're actually looking for texture rather than time for this step. So come back in half an hour, see how it's going. It might need a little extra pressing. It's been, I think, 40 minutes now. Which is a little bit longer, but it was quite wet. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Maybe I'll take these out first. And... Oh, stuck slightly. It's not as firm as it could be, I think. Well, that's definitely firm there. I guess that's where most of the weight was, but this is, could be firmer. All right. Um, how to fix that, I wonder. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could lay it out flat and press it for a bit. Hmm. Maybe I'll cut it up, squish it for a little bit. Those that need a bit of squishing. Okay, let's do that. This could potentially go horribly wrong. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just kind of mushed them, didn't I? Well, they're not pretty, but it's still cheese. Technically. Yeah. So we have halimi chunks, not halimi slices. That's okay. 
Now these here look pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put... Yeah, these are really soft. These are looking better, but they're still very soft on the edges. If I can mush these to be near each other, maybe. Maybe I can mush them back into a solid piece. Who knows? We are way off the edge of the map. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's... Recipe book didn't say anything about this. Let's get that. Alright. Squish. Let's get those cans. <laughs> I wonder whether that'll work. It's been another like 15 minutes or so. Oh. And I feel a lot firmer. Yay! You might have salvaged it. And they stuck together. Alright, they're a little bit like misshapen. But that's, that's good. Okay, time to cook them. Got my water up to um, a boiling point. Uh, now just to cook the cheese um, until it floats. Here goes nothing. Okay. Sunk. Apparently no need to stir, but just make sure they're not stuck to the bottom or I guess to each other. There's been another one in there. All right. That looks, that looks like floating to me. And then on to the rack. And then salting. Whoops. I'm gonna wait till they cool down to assault the rest. Salt the other side. All right, raw cheese. My recipe doesn't say anything about how much salt to use. Now, Halimi is salty. They have firmed up considerably. Go. Oh. I just ate cheese curd off my finger, and it was salt. I have a hangnail right now, and we're massaging that salt into. My cheese is burning in more than one way. Time for the taste test. That's pretty good. Definitely salty enough. Wouldn't go any saltier than that. Desiccate from the inside. Um, but it's a good level. Halloumi is meant to be salty. <laughs> um, pleasantly squeaky without being too squeaky either. 
It also didn't lose as much water as I expected it to in the, the frying pan. Like as other store-bought halloumis have. Hmm. What do you think? Thank you. Seal of approval, I guess. So despite all of the possible ways that that could have gone terribly, terribly wrong, it actually, you know, it's halloumi. It's definitely closer to halloumi than any other cheese. So I think that's a success. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, here are some other things you can watch if you feel like it. Or you can just watch me struggle to flip a piece of cheese. Okay, bye.